last time on Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> and I'm in a death spiral. Okay, stop. I'm friggin' burning alive here. There's no issues at all with that. Yeah, there's plenty of issues. That being the primary one. Landing. Ha! Wow, that was only half the world? Alright, here we are. Take two of the Round the World with a Plane Challenge. I made it to halfway around the world-ish with this guy. It was actually pretty stable. Center of mass and center of lift were pretty close. I think this little bit caused a little bit of the instability. I can probably do without the rockets because they started to burn out inequally, so I'm going to take them off. But, I mean, this was a good little plane. And in fact, that is what I'm going to call it. A good low plane. Definitely need more fuel. This had only one large fuselage, and I think I had 850, yeah, or 870 liquid fuel total. So you're going to see me put this into fast forwarding. Hopefully during the editing process, I'm going to put some more fuel on it, hopefully make it a bit more aerodynamic, and of course stop for the funny and or interesting bits, which will be coming up momentarily. Oh, I wonder if that would work. I have no idea if this will work, but it would be cool if it did. <laughs> look at that. Oh. I wonder how many I can get. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, that's just silly now. There we go. Oh. Brown, you know what I want to do with them. <laughs> this could be interesting. Oh, I wonder if you can also go... <laughs> oh, I may have fun with this at a later time. I'm not going to bother with it now. So I actually do kind of want to, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to be a little bit more serious about this. So I have more air intake, more fuel. All right. Uh, well, I can't fly jabbing them around, so I, because they're still on the previous one. So I will have to fly you, 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 and not you. Those guys. You guys going for a ride. Okie dokie, dokie, bokie, okie, tokie, loki, stokies. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not bad. A little wobbly. I think it's a bit of a bigger plane. I'm not sure if that's just a bigger plane issue or if that's. Uh, unless it's got a bit of a bend in between, but eh, we'll make it do. Alright, so, she's stable though, I'm not having any issues controlling or anything else, so apparently that stuff that I learned is helping. Okay, yeah, this is kind of the same problem I ran into last time. I have plenty of thrust. I probably could even get more thrust, I'd have to put in a little bit more engine power, a little bit more weight, but I could probably get more. But I'm running into this issue of that no matter how much I have of an upwards trajectory or of speed, I keep running into the same issue that um, I kill off all my speed by drag. That might just be an issue with planes. Wow, this is ridiculously hard to control. Whoa! Okay, that was a little much. Okay, now we're flying. Oh crap. I'm running out of there. Oh, I am holding up and just nothing doing. That wind resistance is something else. Shine bright like a diamond that's on fire. Whoop. Whoop. Woohoo! Okay, that's a little much. Cool my jets, cool my jets, cool my jets. When I do these downs, I really lose a lot of speed, though. Whoa, okay, that was a bit much. Okay, I'm gonna try. 
on this particular up to kind of control it a bit more. So we're going to go there and we're going to go, mm -hmm. right, we're going to try and get back towards 90 degrees. See if I can just kind of, oh no, that was a mistake. That level, because I'm not going that fast. Well, I mean, I am going really freaking fast. I can't imagine if I was actually going, hey, it was one, 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 one. I can't imagine if I was moving at a thousand meters per second. That's friggin' insane speed, is what that is. You just kinda... I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You just kinda glide at this altitude until the air intake decides that it's gonna go away. Wow, that is really unstable. I wonder if I turn off the SAS, if that'll help. I have no idea if the SAS helps in one in planes and two in this sort of situation in general. I should have headed enough south that I can probably Whoa, 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 whoa. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, uh, that's the uh, SAS. Okay, so yes, SAS helps. So I'm just holding up. Try and Maintain my speed. I'll probably let go every once in a while when I start to gain too much. Wobbly! Able to fly at a much higher altitude than the last one, which means overall consistently higher speed, which means less liquid fuel used. Although, I tell you what, I'm pretty sure this plane spent 33 minutes. Most of which being on fire. Pretty sure that would end badly for the plane. I don't mind the up and down. Uh, it was that little side wobbly thing I had going that had me slightly or concerned. And we have some land. Yeah, I think that's the island I landed on before. Yes, yes it is. And I still have 600 fuel. Woohoo! So... This is actually using more fuel, possibly because I'm going much faster and at higher altitudes, but I'm still pretty pleased with this. See if just tapping, no, tapping us isn't enough. Gotta hold it. Ooh, though, that's nice and stable now. No, it's not. That is so not stable. Okay, yeah, hold up. Yeah. There we are. Hey, I'm over the desert now. I made it to 28,000 without blowing out the engine, though, so... Yeah, the more... Uh, holy crap, I hit 1,900 there for a second. So, we are flying around. We are getting past the desert. I'm getting back into nighttime, so it must have been pretty close to daytime. Whoa, whoa wobble, wobble. 29,000 meters. And above. Can I hit 30? I don't think I want to. I, I don't want to suffer another blowout. And it's almost blown out. Look at that. It's much duller. That's probably why it tilts every once in a while. It's seriously wobbly, but hey, it works. Wow, that's really... Okay, um... Stop wobbling. I think... God. Oh. There's... There's... There's the uh, uh, space station. Alright, so. Turn on the lights. Get some. See if I can't do a bit of turning. So I did a good job. This definitely counts as an around the world flight. Because there's the space center from where I took off. I can't really see where I'm going. Because it's dark. Luckily that thing is lit up pretty well, so, so I can do that for a bit. Whoa, 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 no I can't, no I can't, why did you do that? Oh, shizzles, 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 um, stop doing bad things. Why? I was so close. Why? Why are you spinning like a friggin' top? 
and I don't know what way to c correct that. Okay. Um, no, stop. No, okay. Why? <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. There we are. Okay. That was interesting. I wonder if because all my fuel has... Uh, I, I bet that has something to do with it. Because all my fuel has shifted. All my fuel is now back here. My center of gravity has completely changed. I mean, I definitely have made it around the world. I've completed the challenge as it was laid out. Build a plane that can fly around the world. There's the space plane that I took off from, and I went that way, and I'm coming back from this way. But for my personal sake, I want to try and land over here. What is so hard about a smooth, stable flight? Pouring myself some Mountain Dew. Yes, I love Mountain Dew, and I've also been awake for many, many hours. Because I'm enjoying this recording thing. Far more than I thought I would. What I didn't enjoy was, I recorded about 800 gigabytes of video. And then, uh, which was going to be about uh, five episodes or so. I'm thinking about 20 minutes per episode that I might edit this down to. And I found out that none of my audio, none of this, was recorded. All it recorded was the game sound, which kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, well. So that was 800 gigabytes that got deleted and... Be done. That's where I learned to do um, a lot of this. But I didn't really fly any space planes during there, so all of this is from the first challenge and the second. Or the first space plane challenge and this. I did not do anything with space planes in the meanwhile. Just a touch of speed so I don't stall out and flop over because that would be bad. I'm going to do a bit of a nose dive down. And I think we're actually good on speed now. We have. We have. We. I don't know if I can land this. I landed the other one, but I had a lot of room. Brakes. Yeah, my back end is much heavier. You can tell by the way it's acting. Yep, uh, and. And get down for the end of the runway. Ha 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 ha! I have done it. That is one around the world in 58:42. Take off from the one runway, land on the runway. Completed. Victory is mine. And to celebrate. I have a little bit of fuel left. I have Kerbals I don't care about. So I am going to... <laughs> Dive bomb! Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Woohoo! So, challenge complete. I am done. So long, everyone. Thank you for watching Smokey Bros Gaming videos. If you like our content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And as always, keep on gaming.